Good day, Columbia, and welcome to Arts Watch. I'm William Starrett, and this week we're at the City Art Gallery in the heart of the Vista. We are witnessing the 35th annual juried exhibition of the Water Media Society from South Carolina. It's an incredible exhibit, and we're meeting with Renee, the president of their board, right now. From the very first painting I did, there's no other medium that is like watercolor. These pieces may include mixed media that also incorporate a water media base. That would include, obviously, your traditional transparent watercolor and acrylic paint. We had 204 entries in the show this year. 30 are a part of this exhibit that's at City Art now. Back in the 80s, I started taking watercolor after I was bored with being an illustrator. Since then, I've had the opportunity when moving around to take a lot of classes. This particular piece is the shopping diva that's in every woman. L last year, I was in a show at 80808. It was called It's All About Faith because my daughter's name is Faith. Anyway, this is just part of the series that I've done about her because she has um, a very artistic sense of the way she dresses. Uh, from the top as it goes around, it, it looks like the, her birth and her different personalities as superwoman, iron lady, vulnerable, romantic. It's acrylic and mixed media, mediums, powders, a little gouache watercolor and it's an exploration of nature shells. It's called shell extraction, so it kind of reminds me of a abalone shell. I might start off with 20% of the vision, but uh, it ends up just evolving throughout the painting. I work on the floor most of the time. Uh -huh, on the floor, it's more comfortable. <laughs> it's messy. <laughs> I have to clean the floor every once in a while. Uh -huh. I've won many awards in the show. I, I really would have, I don't keep very good records of my artworks. This is my newest series. It's societal series, as in society, and it's a commentary on society. This one's called Peel Away. I don't necessarily agree with everything that goes on in the government. I don't necessarily agree with all of the programs and all of the fundings and that sort of thing. And I think if we peeled away some of the layers and got to the meat of it, we might be very surprised and we might want to change. 